Yo, what is good people? It is your boy Zeus here today and we are back with a tutorial guide on how to overclock your GPU in 2023 and trust me, I've watched so many videos on YouTube of people trying to explain how to do it and none of them seem to be working for me so I end up creating my own one, so hopefully this helps you. First of all, what you're going to want to do is download these two applications, the first one being the MSI Afterburner and the second one being the Combustor. Now, if you do go onto Google, make sure the website looks like this, otherwise you'll probably get some horrible virus on your PC or laptop, whatever uh, device you're using. Second of all, I'm going to put the links for these websites in the description down below just to make it easier rather than you having to go all around just to try and find it. So also the graphics card I'm using for this video is the RTX 3060 Ti which to be honest for the price is a really good graphics card so if you have the same one as me then this this will just run perfectly for you. It can work for any other graphics card as well but the um, core clock and the memory clock might be a little bit different but I'm going to explain on how to get it precise for your exact graphics card. So hopping straight into it, once you've got them both downloaded, go to your desktop and it should create two desktop icons. For me, they're both here. So first of all, what you're gonna wanna do is open up your MSI Afterburner. Now once you've got this open, this is your overclocking device where you do all your settings for it and stuff like that. So let me get it in the video there. Next up, you're gonna wanna open up the MSI Combustor. For me, it's going to open this because it's out of date, but they literally updated this like a day ago, but it doesn't matter. You will get the updated version, of course. So the resolution, you're going to want to change to your one, which for me is 1080, and then run the stress test. Now, all this is, is basically like it's running a game in the background, and I don't know, it's kind of just easier rather than running the game and it crashing all the time trying to do this because trust me it can get very very long and i'm having trouble actually getting this to get to the exact size for the video so there we go we got it there. right cool so you've got it both open now so the core voltage on the msi afterburner do not touch like I have no, um, I don't know what the word's called right now, but if you do touch it, do not blame me. <laughs> like I've told you, don't, so just follow my instructions. Second up, what you're going to want to do is go over to your fan and slide the power limit all the way up to 105, and it should say your temperature limit should hit 90. Your fan speed, it's entirely up to you. I just seem to leave it on 70. It doesn't seem to be too loud, and my temperature on the actual pc right now is 55 which is pretty decent i don't need my fans to go up anymore so what you're going to want to do is go over to your core clock and this is the bit where you need to be precise i would start off on 100 and press enter in here and your memory clock i would go to 120. now once you've done this you want to look at your combustor see if it's running fine is it running crystal clear is it lagging a little bit if it's not and it's like uh, being normal like every other game or whatever keep going up so go back to your core clock put up to 120 go to your memory clock and you want to have that on 140 and a big thing here you always want to have your core clock lower than your memory clock so as you can see nothing's lagging at the moment so for me it i can go up to i think about 300 i think off the top of my head and your core clock i'll take it up to 320 uh, memory clock sorry so there you see it's not lagging at all my gpu load is still 97 percent in the green everything's fine but it might be a little bit different for you guys so i would suggest when once that does crash um select it down these two so let's just say it crashed on 300 i would take it down to about 260 here and i would take this down to 280 and it shouldn't crash if it does cr crash take it down a little bit lower and that is literally it for overclocking your gpu it's so simple but a lot of people miss out these steps so if it has helped you please drop a like down below and if you're new to the channel hit the subscribe button and before i go i'm going to show you a quick little tip here what you can do is is select a spot for your overclocking so if you wanted to save it what you do is press this button here and then you go over to one of these and it saves the exact things what you want 
and I've made so many different like uh, little platforms I can I can select depending on what game I'm playing so there you go try it out I hope it helps you and it's been your boy Zeus and I'll see you in the next video peace